everybody, and welcome to The Strain After Show here on the Stream.TV Fan Show Network. My name is Sinead DeFries. I'm your host tonight. We are wrapping, recapping, excuse me, tonight's episode. And I'm joined by my co-host over here to my left. Hey, guys. I'm Stephanie Gray. Finale is one episode away, and there's a lot of stuff going on, so I hope they figure that all out. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot going on for sure. Um, but yeah, you're right. One episode away. Can you believe it? Um, over here on my right. Hello, everyone. It's me, Johnny McGovern, here with your strain tip of the week. If you're going to go vamp hunting in Albania to some castle miles away from your house, maybe you should think to not leave your wife and kids just all playing in the yard so they can get vamped. True that. Did you yeah. ever think about that? Point. Mm -hmm. Not you know what, what I, you should do. I mean, without your tips, I don't know how we would yeah, ever we survive. survive. If people are writing them down, house. when the shit goes down, then it's going to be good. You're going to be able to get it. Absolutely. Well, that's good. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Um, and also <laughs> joining us. Hello, everyone. Happy to be back. Annie Graton here. Let's get start talking about this episode because it was major. Major. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Wow. All right, well, we're going to get started. Yeah, you're right. Lots happened. We're all super excited to talk about it. Make sure you guys tune in um, and hop online and get on our YouTube channel, the stream.tv's YouTube channel, and subscribe because every week with the live episode, you guys can comment and kind of join in this conversation because it's getting pretty heated on there right now. So make sure you hop online and tell us what you think about tonight's episode. Um, all right. Also, big news, big, big, big news. Um, later on in the show, um, we're going to get started talking about some things that happen, but later on in the show, we have Shailene Garnett joining us from the actual cast of The Strain. Um, she played Neva's daughter. Um, go ahead, Annie, say her say her character's name since you're so good at it. Oh, stop, Sebastian. <laughs> oh, Sebastian. Yes. Yeah, I said that. Nicely well done, her. nicely done. So oh, pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, so I she's tried. joining us, and we're really excited about that because um, we got reintroduced to the Vampire SWAT team, which we will get to. But um, the last time we saw them was in the episode where they shot her in the head. Wow. Yeah. Dramatic. Right there, right here. Awesome. I smell an Emmy nomination for her death scene. Yeah. Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, okay, but let's get started, you guys. Let's oh my talk goodness. about, let's get right to it. The beginning of the episode, Satrakian, Abraham, Grandpa, who we love, and his first flashback, and we're introduced to his family. Yes. First, his wife. They kind of introed it, I feel like. Miriam. With, yeah, Miriam, good old Miriam. Miriam. Um, Miriam. They showed the heart, and then he's having all these flashbacks. And I mean, who, how did we feel about the wife? I kind of thought she was cute. I just, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I was like, well, if she's dating a vampire hunter, she's gotta be hot. And yeah. I thought it did the trick for me. <laughs> yeah, and you're right. I mean, he was, I think you said that he's becoming a little obsessive. I think, I think you could tell that he's becoming, that they wanted to show that he's becoming obsessed, mm -hmm. like at an early stage, you know, when, just when, you know, he was young and had his wife in. Where was he? Albania, right? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because even she was all like, okay, honey, like, so yeah. we were going to have, you know, some more kids and you were going to slow down on the vamp hunting because I'd like to see you at home during the day yeah. and night, right. you uh -huh. know, like, right. calm it down with your, your With son. your old vamp yeah. hunting. Yeah, I vamp mean, hunting. Calm it down, honey. I was very excited when I saw that my second favorite star of the series the heart in a jar was back. <laughs> yeah. I love those little worms. I like when it gets all excited. And I love- When it's an, feeding a, time. A, yeah, a little feeding time. Oh, I love an Abraham flashback. And we got to see that Abraham's wife may have been a little naggy, like maybe we could have children instead of hunting vampires. But you know she was a bad bitch too because she's been out hunting vampires with him. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the craziest thing too for me and what I loved about that flashback was that we saw all this time go past and then we were reintroduced to like I-Course as well. And I honestly, what, I didn't know for sure if we were gonna meet. I mean, yeah, I didn't know for sure if we were gonna see this connection re-happen, you know? I thought right, we were done with it. At that point in time, yeah. I-Course yeah. came out of nowhere, by yeah. the way. Right does at the just, top of the well. <laughs> yeah, does he like literally spend his whole it's life crazy. following Abe around, right. stalking him, and then Abe falls in the well, he's like, I'm here, and I'm like, that is Weird. But that's uh, what you, yeah. you're so right though because coincidences. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. but like that you're so right because it's like what what is it about Abraham that Eichhorst is so attached well, to? Abraham is following the master right. and Eichhorst is hang is chilling deep 
with the master. <laughs> right. Dude. And when master <laughs> has his little vampire castle basement broken into by Abraham, okay. who's going to be there to be his day hunter or whatever the heck, right. mm-hmm. is I, of course, mm-hmm. being like, I got you in the well. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gay bar in Albania <laughs> after this. Work, queen. See you later. Off. <laughs> and freaking Abe was a baller climbing out of that. We pointed this out. He yeah. climbs out of there with his bare hands and feet with his sword, mm-hmm. might you add. Right? There's, a lot, there's a lot of convenient but, things that happen. But it's funny, though, too, because just like, I mean, it was I mean, years ago, but his fingers were mangled by oh, the master. I know healed. it was probably years ago because mm. he's aged. Mm-hmm. With that makeup. Oh, let's talk about that makeup. Let's that's talk still, about the makeup. That's still speaking probably of hard mangled. climbing up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking, yeah speaking, yeah. speaking of mangled. mangled, I mean this this episode to me showed a lot of the things that I love about this show and the things that I feel need work. The show has so many amazing big moments. It's very cinematic, but then other times we're tipping into like lifetime movie type yeah. of makeup uh-huh. and I'll we'll get into it later but some of this character development that we yeah. don't need right, yeah. right. Uh, you know I'll get into that later because I have a very strong opinion yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. because I, I feel like every character that we see on this show we're like oh like are they gonna tie in are they gonna be in the vamp crew so we're always like oh we want more information and when they're just like left behind or something like that we're like oh, okay like, yeah yeah it's weird the makeup was yeah. a, a definite negative in the episode yeah. for me I agree. And it, mm-hmm. you know I, I am willing yeah. to believe in the world of this show I don't need them to be like we've got to make young I, young Abraham look just like old Abraham so let's put some prosthetics on him that look like they're from a Stephen King miniseries actor. in the 90s. Right. Yeah. Oh, did they? Well, you know what that's Great. really that's really important that you bring that up because it goes back to something that we see online all the time and I feel like the one hang up that a lot of people have with this show is the inconsistency with things like that. It's like those are things we we like we have such a high bar for the strain. Yeah. Right. So then when it comes out and you're just kind of like, Meh, you could have done better. The master could have been scarier. All these little things we're just kind of like, uh. But um, speaking of you guys getting online and telling us what you think, we wanted to shout out a couple of blogs too before we get on with our show. Um, these blogs have been really amazing and helping us to really stay motivated throughout this entire show as well. So thank you so much. The first one is um, the strain dot or the strain TV, excuse me, dot tumblr dot com. So that's a Tumblr page. You guys have to go check them out. And then the next one's on Facebook, and you can find them at facebook dot com slash strain trilogy so strain tv on tumblr and strain trilogy on yeah and you bet there are probably some nice gifts on that tumblr (laughs) Mm -hmm. of the master and all his flashy ways tonight absolutely um but yeah cool so lots happened in the beginning of the episode and then thankfully we got really going after this and we were reintroduced to our Favorite internet hacker, um, Dutch. <laughs> Lady Dutch. Uh-huh. Lady Dutch. A lesbian only in name. I was just right. about Lady Dutch. You can't seem to figure out her sexual Ugh. orientation unless she has, but then it was like all cryptic there when she was like, mm-hmm. I like, what did she say? Twisted relationships? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's violent. Like a twisted, yeah, violent. Yeah. Or like destructive. She's destructive, like, like destructive relationships. And Fett's like, that's, that's me too. And meanwhile, we're all me like, too. me too. Me too. Yes. yes. So basically, Give what we kiss. can say at this point is, Dutch and Vasily are gonna get together. It's yeah. going to happen. It'll happen. Make out, make out. Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> this part of the episode made me want to throw up. I this like is their, such them a together. major story that we're telling here. Yeah. That I'm fine. Dutch returns. We're gonna. She's gonna get the him an F back on TV to tell the world. I don't need to hear that Dutch is in an abusive relationship and have her make eyes with Vasily. This isn't in the book. It's a boring, it makes me want to like turn the channel because I'm yeah. just like, well, I don't want to know about you, bitch. I want to know about Albania and the master and yeah, the sword agree, and agree. the subway and the mom. There's so many more That's interesting things to yeah. be okay. going with. Agree I, and disagree. Yeah, a lot of people will agree with you, Johnny. A lot of people will agree with, with you. And she's like, I know. Uh, um, but, no. but I'm let, not one of them. Right, let me just put it to you this way. You had to wait till the camera get on me. Yeah. If, the Titanic, that. if the Titanic sunk without Jack and Rose having their entire love story, 
there would have been no Titanic. Yeah, but the Titanic wasn't a vampire story. Okay, it I was know. a love story. But you story. need relationships. Yeah. I you feel need like people. Yeah, if, you need something to move yeah. along the story. All right, Depending all right. on how big the character is. In the beginning, I'll, I would yeah. say Dutch wasn't a huge person yet. I could care less about her backstory and why she's a badass. But now, now that she's stuck around, she seems to be part of this whole army. Absolutely. I want to know why she's so cray and how come. I mean, and I want to know what her sexual orientation right. is. And I, I want to know now. I mean, honestly, I, I'd rather see i love love. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, want to know, okay, give me i and his I-Corps, many boyfriends yes. around the world. But the guy can get chained up. That yeah. would be more interesting. That <laughs> is right. Yes, High five. Him. I don't need to know about this <laughs> fake lesbian going to switch. <laughs> okay. That is bullshit. No. <laughs> Attention to strain. Cut it out. That's super boring. <laughs> super boring. We got it. All right, okay, so, wait, if, you had, um, if you had to pick between the family drama or the Dutch and Vasily's love life, what would it be? I would always take the family drama because I know no. that's legal. Eating somewhere or oh, dying. <laughs> so uh, that's fun. I don't need to know about this, right. this whole fake lesbo Hollywood bullshit. I get what bullshit. you're saying. Unless it leads yeah. somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, and it's not that's leading funny. anywhere to the, except to the bedroom, and that's gross. <laughs> yeah. I would be okay to see that scene, possibly because I, I have a crush on both of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Steph I take Vasily. You're just defending Stephanie <laughs> because she's in love with both Dutch <laughs> and yeah, Vasily. Exactly. I mean, you know what I like better than Dutch and Vasily? I like you and your attitude. Yeah. Mm, yes. yes. I have so many girl crushes. It's not, don't even get me started. Okay, oh, girl. well, that is another show altogether. Yes, it is. Um, but no, I actually really like that there's a split decision on that because mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to kind of hate it or love it. Right. So <laughs> the funny there you thing go, is guys. too, the funny thing really quick before we move on, yeah. I think is that the whole point was that they're supposed to be working to get F on the screen, like to show like, hey, the world is ending because of all these vampires and the whole time we were focusing on the yeah. romance. Well, oh. you know what? Like, Here's, I was like, if they no. were taking more time yeah. to teach F how to talk on camera <laughs> yes. than flirting take... <laughs> with each other, like honestly, we Please. might have gotten through the entire PSA because <laughs> dude could seriously never, ever, he ever needs, act. We he needs to take, up, hurry up. He needs yeah. to take some hosting classes. Okay, that would be get like class. another tip would be like, if you have to address the nation in 30 <laughs> seconds, <laughs> speak faster. You silver, you sunlight, done. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyways, anyways yeah. okay. Well, all right. So. <laughs> We're getting passionate tonight I know. in the show. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's it must be because it's close to the finale. I know, it must be. Um, but we're about to get even more heated because yes. we are so excited to welcome Shailene Garnett onto the show with Woo! us. Applause, applause. Welcome, yes. Shailene. Hey. Look at her. There she is. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. Hi, Shailene. Hi, how's it going? Good. Great. Where are you located right now? Currently, I'm in Toronto. Okay. Yay. In your house, is that a hotel? Where is that? I like oh, this. This is it's it's my house. It's oh. pretty simple. <laughs> can I just okay, listen? Can it's I just clean. go back to that point about that 30 second live broadcast thing? Yes. Because oh, I was biting my tongue. <laughs> Hello. All you have to say is, look, vampires are rocking the streets. Kill them, or you sunlight. The yeah. end. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, scientific fact. More scientific fact that you won't understand. Come on. I know. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Totally. No, you know what? I think that um, you are a hundred percent right. I think She's everyone, right. everyone. I think everyone was screaming at the TV, like, "Why are you introducing <laughs> that you're a doctor right now? Like, no yeah. one needs to know." Just, like, <laughs> but you guys, of course, if he didn't mess that up, then where would the apocalypse go, and where would the series go? Because all of a sudden, but everyone would be dead. Watching it though. <laughs> Right. Right. Actually watching the show because the reception was gone. TVs don't work, so it's like, who's after this point watching TV That's or their cell point. phones or anything? Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Palmer. Just Palmer. Palmer. Rich Palmer. Oh, just, got Palmer his yeah. just Palmer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, let's keep going now that we have Shailene here. We're super excited. So let's talk about um, Mr. Icorse, Annie, your man crush over here. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, Icorse comes and he goes to attack basically this, the gang, he, he comes after them. And we watch Mrs. Martinez finally die. Bye, sounds, Mama. I mean, it sounds so terrible, but like, I am so surprised she lasted this long. It sounds so terrible, but I was like, bye, boring storyline, bye. <laughs> That's another one, the mom and all of her cuckoo magookas. I guess now that she's gone and dead, I'm like, you know what? It was a great performance by the actress and 
you know, it was not that long. So, and now I know that she's gone. Makes me feel good. And we can get into the meat of this story. And it was Bolivar, too. Yeah, I'm happy to have sure. Bolivar back. Yes. Yeah. Scott Nora's mom. I'm happy to, I, I love that vampire, too. I love me some vampires. Oh, yeah, he was the rock star yeah, rock one. Rock star's back. You had to double back. check. Yeah. Yeah, no, Wait, absolutely. Shailene, how do you feel about the Alzheimer's mom slash uh, Gabe coming back? Okay, so I kind of liked her. She just had a lot of common sense about her. I don't know if I'm moving too forward, but I have to talk about the scene where Nora killed her. Yeah. 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 Please. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say, I honestly thought for a second, based on her character, she would have sat there and just cried her eyes out until the mom came back to life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The mom eaten her. Yeah. I didn't actually think she'd go through with the killing. Right. Yeah. Because she's always such a sorry sack, you guys, because yeah. Nora's always like, oh, I don't know, I'm yeah. so upset, everything's, I'm crying. And this yeah. time she's like, I'm going to get it done. I thought she was going to lose it again, and then she got but it done. But you know what? I'm really happy that she did kill her mom because it was like, there, Nora has had moments throughout the show where you're like, okay, thank you for being normal thank and you thinking for about, a little ballsy there, you know, yeah. um, but I was, I was really... I was moved by that scene. You, you guys, know? last time she was robbed of killing Jim. Remember, Vasilis came in and did it. Oh, yeah. So this time she like, got her she kid. She's like, I have to kill, I have to yeah. kill. Yeah. Right. Imagine, she really just wants to kill. Imagine Shailene, if somebody it. else killed her mom for her. She exactly. would have had a freaking heart you attack. You saw her, she totally. was trying to take, she was like, F, give me the knife. Yeah. Right? Yep. She's like, give me the That was <laughs> a little condescending of F to be like, go in the basement, little lady, while I chop your mom's head off. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They seem to work hard to make F a little bit unlikable. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. He is an unlikable. Totally. Um, and then, but then um, Abraham says goodbye to the heart. But before he does, he has the entire what? Bye, heart. See you later. <laughs> hey, heart. It's been you fun. Guys. We love when you bubble. <laughs> we love when you bubble. Love when you bubble, heart. You guys, can we just talk about the fact that he had this heart for like 40 years? Yes, of and course. He, you. Yeah. And he and was in water, too. Like, I come know. on. I'm pretty sure after all this time, it would have like decomposed or right? shrunk or something. You can't keep a heart for that long. Shrunk. And don't you think he probably like had to take it out like once a month and like clean it? Like, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no, I mean, that's true, huh? He has had this for a very long time. Yes. But so finally, um, closure. Yeah, Thank God. It's gone. The heart is gone now. I mean, maybe it'll pop up again. Who knows? But he, <laughs> I think course took it. In before. a new outfit, <laughs> uh, I course shoulder as like a cunty detail. <laughs> <laughs> it's hysterical. But before, um, before he said goodbye to her, we had that flashback where it shows him actually killing his yeah. his wife and his mm -hmm. kids and again another good flashback of just like starting to see all these people starting to see all these people um have to kill their family members like right. it's really Rough, coming yeah. to that i mean yeah, i know that's that a lot that's, of people we've seen that happen. yeah with. like it's always kind of been we knew it was going to happen but it's just been so much i feel like it's starting to it's starting to pull on my heartstrings a little bit what yes. I didn't understand, because I thought it was the same day when he's like, okay, you know, she's like, oh, come back before the sun goes down, whatever. And he's like, yeah, we'll adopt. And then the wife comes in with these two kids. With two kids, I thought the so, same thing. Yeah. Did he just, did she steal the neighbor's kids? Because she wanted them so bad. <laughs> yeah. Is that what happened? And yes. You know what? I thought the same thing, and I was wondering, like, I wonder if maybe they already had the two kids, and yeah. maybe or they just wanted to do it. Because he said, we will adopt. We yeah. wanted yeah. like, always wanted. Not, we did adopt. Right. You know? right. So she comes in, and I was wondering then, okay, you take your wife's heart, but what about your kids? Right. You don't love them, but I guess not, right? No, yeah, he doesn't. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if those were his kids. Yeah, maybe I, that was just a cruel vampire joke that she brought the boy <laughs> and the girl, like, yeah. now that I'm a vamp, I brought us the kids. Or, yeah. Yeah, or she got straight. There was the same you kids know? playing in the background. If you saw when he was giving oh, her a hug, right. she oh, oh, roll a dot. Those kids were playing in the background. So she got so straight, and then she the vamped them. She yeah. yeah. strained them. She literally she took the neighbor's kids. kids. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and she turned them into vampires and then brought them <laughs> home. I were home. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Miriam is a bad little, bad little vamp. I know. Yeah. And it's Abraham like... beheaded the neighbor's kids. <laughs> 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 it's like when I was I younger. I'm like, here you go. Sorry, my wife. Took them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take them back. Sorry, it's just you just might want to use some now. silver on them. Just chain them yeah. up. That'll yeah, be it's fine. so funny. Um, the kids, the kids are gone. But this is who I thought was gone. You guys remember when we saw the SWAT vamps, and then we never saw them again. Hello, with you, and we all were like, Yeah. Where did the vamps go? The good vamps. My buddies over there. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, so then we, we see them again. I'm completely confused. Somehow they want to save Gus. I don't know why. None of us can figure out why. You know what? I've never been happier about that ever. And honestly, Shailene, like after your episode, every single episode, we were like, maybe they'll be back. Yeah. Maybe they'll be back. And they never nope. came back. So what do you honestly think is going to happen with the SWAT team and Gus? Well, why they won't okay. Back? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how much I can say because I, oh. I do know a little bit of information and I don't know how much I can tell. Whoa. But let's just say that this uh, vampire ninja dude is a good guy. And so I, I don't know too much about this uh, the story with Gus, but I'm assuming he's taking Gus to find out the insight about who he's getting his side jobs from. Yeah. To go and kill them as well. But he's definitely a good guy from yeah. what I understand. Right. Since he obviously killed me off. Right. Um, oh. <laughs> you're like uh. obviously killed me off. How did you find out? Yeah. How did you find out about that? Did they like send you the script and then you were like reading it, or did they call you and they were like, "We've got this huge plot storyline we're gonna do <sighs> about me dying." That yeah. Part? yeah. 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 Was it in the breakdown oh, no, already? That, that that was yeah. That was in the script. So I, I kind of went in knowing that I would die, which is bittersweet because it was pretty epic. Right. And yeah. I mean, of all my deaths, I've never been shot in the face with yeah. a silver arrow. Because it was a pretty <laughs> epic. It was like a huge. It was that was an epic yeah. It was a huge episode that you were in when we were introduced to this entire other species, maybe of vampires or something. Yeah, and it was the most dramatic death. And then the the mom, <sighs> the little exorcist mom. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was really creepy because <laughs> we, when we're shooting that scene, we hadn't seen prosthetics before then. I hadn't, anyways. Oh. And so we're coming from lunch, and here you have like Mrs. Lust just chilling out there in her vamp gear, and like it was, it was, it was pretty creepy. It brought a bit of realism to the scene, I guess, mm -hmm. to say the least. That's awesome. That's, that is so cool. That must have been so creepy. <laughs> I, I have yeah. to just I have to just take a second and, and just clarify something because I was getting a lot of feedback the day that episode aired. Um, a lot of backlash about us running into a basement as opposed to the front door. Oh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy about that. <laughs> but I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me just explain the scenario. So if you remember, when she came in, right. we ran around her, right? Uh -huh. And so she kind of intercepted us through the stairs and she got, her hands were put into the sunlight, right? right. Okay. Yeah. That was the only way to the front door. So she was blocking it. And so, oh. you know, I can only be a ninja so much and come through <laughs> so many times that we had to keep running. We had to just keep going. And I guess it brought us downstairs. My mom's like, hey, let's go into the cellar, you know? But yeah, no, I think, let's just say that we actually tried to go through the front door. Let's just say that, because a lot of people were so upset about that. Right, thank you for clarifying. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you for clarifying. I I'm, feel better, all, yeah. yes, we're <laughs> screaming at the television. I'm sure yeah. everybody was, so thank you. I appreciate that clarification, and now we're I get it. so angry, and I get it, I get it. I would have been at the front door if I could have, but the vamp was right there. So it's like, we go head first, you know, football style, and knock her over and run out, or we just find another exit. Right. <laughs> and then and have the most <laughs> epic death scene in On the Strain. That on was the a The Strain after show exclusive. Right. Yeah. Exclusive. Awesome. You Thanks saw it that. here first, you guys. You saw it here first. Yeah, yeah. Um, Breaking story. Awesome. But right. yeah, well, thanks so much, Shailene, for giving us a little bit of insight into Gus, too, yeah. because we're so excited about what's going on with that. Um, but so. let's, I mean, let's just talk about the end of the episode and the master comes with his fingers and his ring. Oh, girl. The master is oh, the master. Yeah, the master. Why didn't he yeah. just slit the guy like he did with the other dude? Right? He, okay. he took his nail and that worm crawled out and went inside him. Yeah. Why didn't he like hold his mouth open, right. put like goo in him? Whoa. <laughs> I yeah, don't think that was a worm, right? I think that was no, a, yes. it was that just was a drop. It was goo. It was just goo. It was gross. And it came from his dirty ass, dirty fingernail and into his mouth. And he's like, I know. Sorry, guys. We were all thinking the <laughs> same so thing. We were like, what yeah. is that stuff pouring out of his finger that's white and going into yeah, his mouth? Yeah, we're like, why? What is it? Like, a worm? That looks like well, semen. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> girl, it's the master. Yeah. She's a showy yeah. runway ball queen. Of she, course, she came in <laughs> flapping all of her flappers. <laughs> She showed her rings. She's like, you're not getting a worm. You're getting something special. Drip, drip. 
let's just say in all this time he evolved his skills so like back in the day you know all he knew how to do was slice people's veins open and let the worms crawl out you had about 40 years or so to evolve your tricks now he's like look what i can do i can make goo out of my finger yeah so does that mean then that palmer is a vampire or is palmer just a human who's healthy or is palmer palmer a human who's immortal like I well, in the, what he did to in the in the uh, um, in the we got a sneak preview peek for you. Yeah, it's not preview. a spoiler to say. It's not a spoiler yeah. to say. say. It's not a spoiler to say. Thank you. Because they already <laughs> put it out there. Everybody, it's not a spoiler. Not a to spoiler. Say. Um, but in the preview for next week's episode, Palmer seemed upset that he was healthy, but he was not immortal. Right. So the goo is health. The worm is immortality. Mm. And, va- and, and vamp- vampirism. Vamp- yeah. 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 Well, so glad we clarified well, we that, guys. He's have, like, powers, right? Will he? I'm assuming. Uh, that would be to say. interesting. So but hard I'm to say. Still wondering, I'm still wondering, or, like, why do you, like, Shailene, do you have, like, any opinion on why he thinks Palmer? Like, why is he giving Palmer that gift? Because Like, to rich, me, Palmer's just I, like, I, like, why do you need Palmer honestly, now? I don't know. I literally thought, I'm like, just die already. Why right? do you need to be that old and that sick? So I, my whole opinion about him just completely, I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, I that's you a know. tough... You're right, though, because that's like, a tough he, story to understand. What, is, what does he need Palmer for? Yeah. Like, he's His already money. I would assume, assume. I would assume. What if he kills the German dude eventually? I, I, listen, just so you guys know, I don't know anything beyond my episode. Like, I literally am watching week by week. So here, I'm just throwing up random ideas. And if the writers are watching, they can, you know, pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, what if they end up killing? Because the German dude's pretty old by now. So what if right. they kill him off because... You know, he's just playing this this cat and mouse chase with the, you know, yeah. the yeah. old guy and whatever. He's like, no, we need new blood. We need someone who's just as devoted to me and not hunting right. Jewish right. people all the time. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. But I'm sure, obviously, season two is going to talk a bit more about that. Otherwise, he wouldn't be, like, singing in the rain already, you know? Yeah. Right. He Absolutely. needs Palmer's money because, yes. girl, Miss Master needs more berry lip stain. <laughs> oh, because her lip gosh. stain was on point tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, totally. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it's only a matter of time, I think, before that story evolves. Um, but we're going to go ahead and switch to some fan questions now. A lot of people want to talk to you, Shailene, and um, ask okay. you a couple questions because of your incredible episode on, on The Strain. So the first question comes from at NewMoby1. Um, and this question is, what was your first impression of the vampire SWAT team? I thought they were pretty badass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to say, it was kind of funny, in between takes, I would go in the holding room and see all of his entourage just chilling on the chairs, like, taking naps. And because they have the whole black thing on them, you couldn't really tell if they're... I mean, you assume they're sleeping, but it was pretty cool. And the actual actor, unfortunately, I don't know his name, he was really sweet. He was really, really sweet. And that genuine, like, old man thing that he brought to his character wasn't actually scripted. He brought that to his own character, which I thought was pretty cool. That's awesome. awesome. Um, but yeah, I think that we can all agree that they are so badass, and yeah. we're all, that's why we're all we've all been waiting so hard, um, so, to long, so long, long. Just to, it's been to hard work. to wait so it's long. It's been hard right. to wait so long just for them to come back. Right, which, so we're really excited. Going about it. off of that, Shailene, do you know or have insight, or could you tell us, are they vampires? Do you know? Are they a form of vampire? Uh, yes. Oh, he okay. He is a type of vampire. Ooh, I think that's all okay. I'll say. Exclusive. Hey. Exclusive. Hey. Exclusive. You, hear it here, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> so I feel like we were going off of maybe the rat people. Or oh. yeah. Rat people. He, let's just say he's definitely more on the, the side of vampire. Uh, yeah. And for a very specific reason, he is a good guy. Awesome. awesome. I love that. I and love if you read we... the book, you can figure out what it is, because I know, too. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't read the book. I just, I just heard, you know, people talking, Very cool. you know, in the right. trailer. So. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's real exclusive on-set scoop. Yeah. 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 From inside the trailer with Shailene. Um, all right, yeah. the next question comes from at Targets 1983. Would, I, I'm too scared to say this. S- say it again, Annie. Sebastian. 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 Would Sebastian have joined Abraham or the Vampire SWAT team if she had survived? Here's the thing. Miss Know It All, because she's a nurse, you know what yeah, I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think she would have. I think she would have been like, no, guys, we, there's a cure, there's a logical explanation. I think it would have taken a lot for her to realize that there was actually a crisis going on. Yeah. So in all honesty, unless she took a lot of convincing, 
I really don't think she'd be, uh, you know, slaying vampires. She's right. like, oh my God, they're sick. Let's go give them medicine. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, she was, she was very reluctant <clears throat> to listen to her mom. Right. But very smart, too. She's like, a nurse. She was she interesting. Knows it all. Right. You know, right. your character was very interesting, too. That's why when she got a scratch, we're like, no, no, no. Like, it's just a scratch. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, but you know, yeah. also, too, what wasn't shown, um, it was scripted, but they cut it out, in the cell room or the wine cellar, she's here like, Mom, we got to get going. We have to call for help. Ashley's putting hand sanitizer, but it was scripted that you're supposed to see the worms under my skin. Oh. So let's think about this. What is a hand sanitizer going to do, right? Right. So she's like, uh, it just shows a lot of, like, intel as to yeah. how she yeah. thinks. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Both Thank you. Let me just go put Purell on that thing. <laughs> I know. It's like Jim with the hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. This will help. This will help, yeah. That <laughs> is so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Very cool. All right. Um, this, this is a question that just came in. This one comes from at Bubble Blue 71 He just wants to know, in general, does this season complete book one of the series? And, I mean, I, Shailene, you said you haven't read the books. I haven't read the books. Only okay. Johnny has read the Luckily, books. Luckily, I've read the books. I believe that's oh, a close-up. Thank let's you. Yes. yes, let's hear it. Uh, the, book, the, the book is almost, book one has been done pretty much already. We're getting into the action of book two. And they've moved some things earlier and pushed some things and completely got rid of them. The whole vampire SWAT team Gus plotline happens all in the second book. I think okay. they show up a little bit at the okay. end of the first one. Okay. And him, them finding the master in the subway like that did not happen in the first book, oh. I think. Oh. I think, and if I'm wrong, Twitter, go ahead and tell me. But from what I remember, is that happens later. The full first book is about the strain straining mm-hmm. and the team getting together. And then all the flashbacks and stuff in the Black Forest and all that stuff that happens book two. Okay, here's a question, Johnny. Was Sebastian in the first book, or was she just made up to push the story? I think I don't remember that character in the book, or, or do I really remember the nanny character okay. and the rock executive? Like those are, see, in my in my remembrance, more of a series creation. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Nanny was awesome. Yes. It sure did. We got yes. you. <laughs> we got you. Um, we got you. All we right. This it. one's for Shailene. This one comes from at Boston75 underscore one. Um, he wants to know, did you get to work with Guillermo del Toro? And if so, how was that? Or just how, I mean, in general. The project, what, yeah. The whole project and knowing that it was a Guillermo del Toro project, like, what was that like? Okay. So, God, this is so bad. <laughs> I should probably mention, if you guys remember, I think it was the third episode in in the autopsy room when all those vampires were like coming back to life. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I was originally called out to be one of those vampires. Oh my God. God. At that time I had never heard of the strain. So I actually contemplated, I'm like, yeah, you know, why not? You know, I'll get a bit of money, whatever, but it just fell off. So I I didn't do it. And then like two weeks later, I got this 10 page audition for Sebastian, which is Pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, Easy. <laughs> I had to I had to do my research. I actually didn't know anything about it. And I did not work with Guillermo del Toro. I did meet his niece, if that's oh. anything. She was in the prosthetics room for a bit. Cool. Um, oh. Yeah, sorry. Okay, I lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> yeah, he only he only from what I understand, he only directed the pilot, which is pretty pretty standard, and then he moved on to do a whole bunch of other projects right, that right. hopefully he'll cast me on. <laughs> but honestly, the cast and crew, like, it, it was like the best experience I've had to date. It was such a cool experience. Even watching it on the little monitor when they're playing it back, I'm like, I'm definitely going to watch this show. Just the coloring, like, ugh, the prosthetic. I understand some of the prosthetics. Let me just say that. Some of the prosthetics were really great. Some, maybe not so much. But <laughs> in my scenes, you know, just um, dealing with the vampires and, like, them coming at the window and all that stuff. It was just such a cool experience. The kids, Chloe and Jaden, were amazing. I love them. My mom, Kim Roberts. Every time we see each other now, like in the street or at the subway, like we literally, st- I jump anyways. I jump for joy yeah. and I scream uh, like I'm on lottery. It's so cool. So definitely, you definitely make a lot of connections that would never have happened otherwise. Right. It was fate. It was That's absolutely so great. fate. Awesome. Yes. Otherwise, I could have been a vampire in like one episode, one scene, and no one would have even. This wouldn't have happened, right? Right. Did this? Yeah. We're so happy. Did this lead to other things? Like, what are you doing now? Yeah. What am I doing now? You're uh, in talks. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm in talks for a few projects, but Woo! nothing's really solidified yet. 
What uh, can I you do? Kind of just how it goes. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Right. Well, best of luck to you, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, guys, um, this is really you. great, but honestly. Um, and how long have you been acting, just just to, just out of curiosity? This is about my fifth year. Okay. So five years. Yeah. Very, very cool. That's great. Have fun in Toronto. Yeah, Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Are you at the Toronto Film Oh, Festival? wait, I'm sorry. I have to tell my, I have to give a shout out to my brother. He's watching. So hi. Hi. Adrian. Hi. 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 Sister's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Come again. Thanks, yes. Amazing. You'll yeah. have to come and visit us in LA, okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, Thank you no, so much. absolutely. I will definitely be giving you guys a call and nice. uh, we'll start something out. Very cool. Well, we look forward to having Shailene back, hopefully. Yes. And also just keeping in touch with her. So you guys follow her. You want to tell everybody your Twitter handle. I know it pops up too, but where can we find yeah, you so online? It is at Shailene. Let me spell that S H A I L E N E, the letter G. That's it, G and G. Awesome. There so everybody is. go follow her and you guys keep tweeting her other thoughts and questions. I know we didn't get to all of them tonight, but I'm sure she'll be happy to answer more questions about the show. Um, and thank you so much for calling us and being a part of tonight's episode as thank well. Thank you. Yes, you look thank great. Thank you so much. You look amazing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, my God. Very cool. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll talk to you soon then. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Thank you, thank you. All right, well, that was pretty awful. Oh, my God. Very totally. cool. She's um, amazing. Just remember, you guys, you heard it here first. And also, yeah. Steph has another girl crush, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so we are so excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight and sticking with us. Um, next week for the season finale of The Strain, we do have the master himself, um, Robert. Is it, how do you pronounce it? Oh, no, it's my. It's like Mayette. 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 Robert Mayette. Mayette. Excuse me. I did practice that. I promise you guys. Um, so he will be here as well, calling in to talk with us, yeah. and we're so excited to have him yeah, as pumped. well. Yeah. So you guys keep tweeting us and him and the stream with your questions and comments for him as well, and we'll kind of do the same thing. Um, and then we'll catch you guys next week for the season finale. 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 Wow. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And make sure as well that you hop on YouTube and join in the conversation there, as well as next week during the live after show as well. All right. Yeah. What a delight. We, what a delight. Uh, Should we count it down? Great. Yeah. Second to last time. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All, All right. right, three, two, one. Get, Get strained. strained.